Hey gamers, Stogie here, and today I'm glad to be bringing you guys another Battlefield 4 gameplay video. This, if you didn't know, is being played on the PC, and the actual game, Battlefield 4, is being released next Tuesday, so that's something to be pretty excited about. I, I don't know if you guys are the same as me, but since this beta's ended, I've really been fiending for some Battlefield. I've been playing a little bit of the BF3 uh, double XP to try and... Uh, level up a little bit because I never really played Battlefield 3 on PC, but it's just not the same, man. I, I can't wait to have this game uh, this game back. So, I hope you guys are looking forward to next Tuesday, and I hope you're looking forward to more videos from me. I'm I'm looking forward to bringing them out. I'm having a lot of fun making these videos, and I'm really enjoying myself. So, today's video, I want to talk about two things in particular. Uh, number one, I want to talk about some of the changes that we've already seen in the little bit that we've seen in the beta. Uh, some of the changes we've seen to the guns and what, why that encourages me, um, you know, the decisions DICE has made and why that encourages me. And the second thing I want to talk about is the support class and why I'm excited about the support class. So let's get started with the gun. And in this gameplay, throughout the entire gameplay, you're going to see me using the Type 88 LMG. And this was notorious for being the worst gun in Battlefield 3. Nobody would touch this gun. It was like a grueling process to try to get through the attachments and get your service stars and and whatnot for this gun to get the dog tags because nobody wanted to use this damn gun well this leads me into what i want to talk about with the weapons you guys know that i am a huge fan of the pp2000 you've seen me post a, a couple of videos of that already and look at the raw power of this type 88 man it just shatters statues but anyway you've seen me post pp2000 gameplay and you'll notice that i've talked about in those videos how the pp2000 started off with more ammo so DICE made a stock adjustment to the weapon to add more ammo right from the get-go. So that gun started with 45 bullets uh, ready to fire, whereas in Battlefield 3 it started with 21, which is really, really weak. Same difference with this Type 88. You guys notice when I reload that Type 88 and it's fresh, it's got 200 rounds. That's the equivalent of equipping extended mag on or extended belt, you know, whatever the hell you want to call it on this thing in Battlefield 3. So, why I'm excited about it is it looks like DICE is taking the stance of making guns, look at this guy, <laughs> making guns better from the base level to start. And that is really cool because that means we get to use more of the attachments we like rather than just wasting an attachment to get more ammo at the ready. And I, I think that's going to be a really huge plus for Battlefield 4. I think it's going to make the game a lot more versatile in your weapon choices. So I'm looking forward to seeing what other guns they've improved upon. Because as of now, we've only seen the Type 88 and the PP2000 that they've done this to. We did see that they knocked the SCAR-H back a little bit. SCAR-H was 21 bullets. And I think that that's because they were... There, it's kind of going to be the G3A3, I think, of Battlefield 4, at least to start. You never know what they're going to give us in DLC, so I don't want to say for certain. But, um, yeah, I, I think that's what it's looking like to start. So the second thing I want to talk about was the support class. And in talking about the support class, I want to mention that the best way you can support your team with the new suppression mechanics is running an LMG and just putting, putting rounds downrange. That's just as simple as you can put it. Drop ammo everywhere you go and run that support class and put ammo down range. So these first clips you saw, I was running the Type 88 in Domination. Here I'm running in Conquest Large. And here's the other thing I wanted to talk to you about, the XM25. Not only is this thing good for air bursting people camping around corners, but you see I just blew up a helicopter. This thing takes out vehicles. So not only helicopters, but check this out. Here's a Jeep here, man. I'm going to take this thing out, kill the guy inside of it, and then one more shot... I'm going to take it out again. I'm going to blow that vehicle up. So that XM25 can really combat against vehicles. And the basic support mechanics that you're used to, uh, firing LMGs with a bipod up, are still really, really useful. You guys see all these guys going after this bomb. Well, I'm just suppressing the shit out of them and getting either a kill or an assist on everybody over there. This is another thing I'm looking forward to in the game. If they're going to give us 200 rounds right off the get-go, I'm going to use them. This is, this is just awesome. I had so much fun with this Type 88 just burst firing it. And the last thing I was going to talk about with the support class was you're never too far away to support your team. So right here you're looking at this and you're like, oh man, i got to go across the map and get to where these guys are. No, you don't, man. With the, with the LMGs in this game, you can support your team from where you're at. Look at I'm suppressing guys and getting kills from the uh, – I'm shooting across the map. 
What What's weird to me is if you were shooting with a sniper rifle here, the bullet drop would be so severe you'd never hit anybody. But with my LMG, it's like they don't drop at all. That's kind of weird to me. But um, anyways, guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about the support class and some of the changes they're making to the guns because I'm excited about it. So I hope you guys are too. I'm interested to see what you guys are looking forward to when the game comes out next Tuesday. I know me personally, I'm looking forward to trying out some more of these weapons. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you later.